Hey everyone, it's about 10 o'clock in the evening on February 28th, 2024. Welcome to tonight's vlog. I'm about to cook this pizza. I'm about to slide it in the pizza oven. I'm only having this right now at this hour because I just realized in my truck when I went shopping earlier I forgot this and it completely defrosted so I better cook it now. So today we had some wild weather so I'm going to go take you guys for a walk in the woods while this thing's cooking for the next 20 minutes or so. All right, ready to go. Power. Oops. And it's ready to go. Let's go for a walk outside. All right, everyone, let's go for a walk in the woods. We're going to be using the really big flashlight today. That's on low, and this is on high. 100 lumen flashlight. Good for making vlog videos at night. Oh, you hear that noise? This flashlight's so big, it's got a cooling fan because it gets really hot. So, the stream is running a little bit high. Not the highest I've ever seen it, but the little teeny dam is underwater. I've seen this stream get so high, this bridge is underwater. Whole w woods right here is underwater. Not that bad. It's a little discolored from the logging roads a little bit upstream, but we're just walking around, looking around. So, today, Oh, by the evidence, it looks like the water was probably up here with the debris. So, today got to a high of 57 degrees. Last night, did not get below 45. Yesterday was also in the 50s. Right now, it's 34 degrees. We just had a snow squall, put a quick coating of snow on the ground. It rained for quite a bit, very rainy. So today, tonight, it went from 57 degrees two hours ago to now 34. When the temperature drops like that, it's usually a cold front coming through very fast, which means a lot of wind, a lot of storm damage. Actually, today I was making an old food video, and during the old food video, power went out. So I hopped in the truck, went for a drive to try to figure out why the power was out. So power lines, when you look up at them, when they go through the woods, they usually have an indicating light in case there's a, it's called a fault detector. It'll start flashing to tell the power company there's an issue between here and the next road. Before they had that invention, they would manually have to walk through the clearings where the high tension power lines are to figure out where that was. Tomorrow's high temperature is gonna be about 19 degrees, so what you're seeing now, this is gonna flash freeze all the slush. So, snow on the ground. There's only a couple inches left of snow from previous storms. A couple days ago we had about half a foot at least. Melted really fast. So now I'm taking a little walk with you guys into the woods. Still learning how to use this new camera light, this big flashlight. Trying to figure out how to hold the camera where you can barely hear that fan running. But we don't really need it on high. Let's turn it down a little bit. So this is, oh, wait, can't have it on that high or the fan wants to run. It'll let me put it on 10,000 lumens without the fan having to run because it's not enough heat. So this light will be good for exploring abandoned tunnels and buildings. Shines very far. So right here, the snow squall didn't really get down. You see lots of puddles of slush. I'm assuming the little stream will probably be flowing. There's a temporary stream. Oh, wow. This tree fell down today. And I'm actually super duper happy this tree fell down today because this one already had a crack in it. It was a dangerous one that I did not want to deal with. So I'm very glad this one came down actually. This one came down too. See, this one was very rotten already inside. It was already split. So, all right, we got a couple trees down. This tree split, um, yeah, that looks like it was already dead. So underneath my little trail bridge, yes, there's a ton of water trickling, lots of sticks down, more storm damage. Look at this. This tree was already dead, but it snapped. I'll have to clean this up. Is this all slush? Nope. That is frozen from a different storm, but you see lots of ice here. Good amount of trickle. See if I can get this out of the way. Good enough. 
So we're out on the trails tonight looking for trail damage. Even though in the fall I emptied this pool so it wouldn't freeze, it filled back up. But it looks like that it's made by Rubbermaid. It can handle a little bit of freezing. Look at all the debris all over the ground once again. If you remember my vlogs from a year ago, all these logs here, we had 50 trees come down last December. We had storm after storm the past two months around here, but we got very lucky. I only lost three trees. And tonight it looks like we lost another two, but they fell in places where I don't have to clean them up. Is this another one that fell down? Did this just come down? That may have already been down, but I'm checking all my trails. But you see, we have a very healthy open area of seedlings growing back. This looks like it was a blowdown before I owned the property. A while back. Just checking to make sure the trails are all open at the moment. All right, on this section of trail by my well, we got a good flow of water going again. See this water going under the bridge? Good trickle. This area is always marshy. That's why the bridges are here. So this is the same water trickling from that bridge you saw a couple minutes ago. The larger bridge. See all this area of moss? This is always a wet area of the property. This area, see how it's elevated? This was actually filled in for a logging camp. And then this forest was planted here in the 1970s. This property used to be a logging camp. That's why there's so many dug wells that I was able to reopen. Good amount of debris here. Hopefully we have another wet year. This summer was the wettest, coldest summer I can remember in northern New England. I hope we get another year like this. It really encourages um, the decomposers to break down all the sticks and debris on the ground. The mannequin lost its cowboy hat. I bought this mannequin at a going out of business sale of Olympia Sports. Thought it would make a good Halloween decoration. Use that as a Halloween decoration for year one. Now it's in the woods to scare away trespassers. It's creepy walking by that if you don't expect it. It'll startle most people at being out here. So now we're gonna walk down a couple more trails, see if any of them are actually blocked. Last December it took me weeks to get these trails back open after that blowdown. Thankfully we don't have that issue again. Usually the storm damage is much worse if the wind is coming from the east and blows west. Because usually the wind is the other way around. So that means all the trees are, they're, they have strengthened themselves to deal with that sort of wind. But when the wind goes the opposite direction, the trees don't expect it. That's the property boundary, that pole in the ground. Uh, here's a tree across the trail. Not a big deal. Uh, cut that up at some point, not a priority. I can step over that very easily. Here's more trees down from last year. But when you have wet years, it makes moss and stuff grow all over everything. And when moss grows all over everything, it breaks it down. So I hope we have another very cold year. Most of the world had a very record-breaking year last year as far as heat. But not my area. Very rainy and cold. It was also very smoky. I've never seen wildfire smoke in New England in my life, except last year. The entire summer, there was only a couple days where you had clear skies. It was just smog most of the time. And maybe that's why it was so cold. Maybe the sun was just blocked. I don't know. But the forest benefited from it being so... I'm gonna switch hands actually with the big light because this light actually produces heat, even on low. It's very nice to hold when you're walking in snowy weather. It's nice to hold on to the big light. Ooh, accidentally put it on high again. 
Let's see if we can. That's as bright as it goes. Super bright. Now you see this area? It's, it's just debris. It's like a trail through mounds of debris. No new trees down. This one came down last month. I just haven't cut up it yet. Not a priority. I'll walk down here with a chainsaw when I have a good reason to do so. This looks new. I think a treetop fell off. It's not on the trail though. Still walking around looking for storm debris. There's the pallet house out here. The trail does continue there. Also comes back down here to the pallet house. Good, the pallet house is not crushed. Nope, doing good so far. Just wanted to make a quick little vlog walking around in the snow. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great night.